Hello everybody! In this video I'm going to be placing the silk screen on this board. So I've been working for this uh, on this particular board uh, for a while now and uh, it's uh, almost done but uh, there are a few things that need to be done to the silk screen because the way that I design boards is that I start with uh, let me just close this one uh, I'm gonna close this 3d window and um, let's see how well this works I'm actually using OBS studio right now and uh, it's uh, encoding the video in real time I was not able to make OBS studio work for streaming but for recording video it, it's a it's a pretty decent program because I can I can make this chroma key uh, around uh, myself and so, so I can remove the background so it becomes like I, uh, you can actually see a little bit more of the background which is very nice um, so let's get started here when I place components first on the board I um, I don't uh, enable the silk, silk screen so I, I do my placement without the silk screen enabled uh, this allows me to uh, uh, kind of focus on the placement instead of uh, thinking about the, the the silk screen, and I leave the silk screen for the for the last step. Uh, and uh, let's see here. I'm just going to enable the footprints so that you can see all the footprints. Uh, and uh, once I'm almost done with the board, I can then go to layers and enable the silk screen and I'm going to disable the back footprints because I'm going to start with the silk screen on the front layer and then I'm going to press this button here to uh, to make the the tracks less visible so now I see all of the footprints that are on the front layer uh, but not the back layer so I can start placing the silk screen so I'm going to go ahead and just place the silk screen uh, on this uh, on this layer so that it doesn't uh, interfere with the footprints. Usually it doesn't really matter if the silk screen is on the footprint, like I can place it there, but uh, it's it's just going to be masked out when the board is manufactured. It's not going to look very well because uh, you will still see like bits and pieces of the silk screen on the sides. Uh, Technically, it doesn't uh, affect the manufacturing process because the manufacturer usually just removes anything that's not on the uh, that that just cannot be there uh, but uh, from the standpoint of like looking at the board and uh, thinking is this a good looking board it's not going to be looking very good when the silk screen is kind of like half uh, like half destroyed by the by the footprints uh, anyway so um, I will just go ahead and uh, place all of the silk screen and the thing that makes this easy is when you when you actually don't get distracted by the by the footprints because if I were to like enable the uh, the back footprints then I, I don't really know which one is which uh, and if I do like this it just becomes a total mess uh, so for example these ones are totally fine here on the top layer because the the footprint there is on the back so it's very good to disable the uh, footprints on the on the opposite layer. And I really like this functionality, so I don't get distracted by all the by all the tracks. And uh, so I go ahead and I just place all the all the letters so that they are uh, well placed and not uh, intersecting anything, and uh, kind of just making the best use of the space. Uh, now, when uh, uh, later I'm I'm going to be also producing um, the HTML bomb. Uh, which will actually make it very easy to uh, find components uh, based on their designator without having to search through the silk screen. But I still find that the silk screen is pretty good to uh, to kind of be able to like look at the board and uh, uh, and measure by like measure voltages by the right component and things like that. So it's uh, it it still has its purpose. It's not like the silk screen is completely not useful. Uh, but I prefer to like make the letters small. I, I go to um, for example, text, edit text and graphic properties, and then I can just set uh, the size of all the letters. And I, uh, I have them set, I think, here to 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.1. I find this works pretty well. 
obviously the size of the letter is going to depend on the manufacturer capabilities uh, if your manufacturer cannot uh, produce letters of a certain size then you might not even like you might get letters that are unreadable because they're too small for the manufacturing process but uh, i try to make them as small as possible because i don't want uh, I, I don't think silk screen is a good use of pcb space so i'm just going to continue and uh, place them so that they are readable uh, and when it comes to components like this for example when i have multiple components i don't have enough space there uh, i will actually do like this let's see um, let's rotate that one and this one needs to be moved here so if you look at this let's let's have a look how this looks in the 3d uh, in the 3d view so i'm gonna go here This is going to be very slow because uh, OBS Studio is encoding at the same time. So we are here. So this, the 3D view is very useful when um, placing the silk screen and kind of getting a feel for how the board will look when it's manufactured. Probably have to fix this a little bit and I don't like the way it looks there. But regarding the silk screen itself, we can just uh, go here and place this one. So this one belongs to this component. We, if we place it there, it's probably going to be like slightly underneath there. And you can actually see here how it looks once it has updated. Yeah, it, it intersects. It's not. It's not very pretty. So we can just move it. Uh, we can just move it here. So what I do if I don't have enough space. I place uh, the silk screen designators in the same order. That's that's the rule. Uh, that's the rule that I use, uh, and uh, this makes it easy to um, understand that the top one is the top one there, because there is no component there. Like if there was a capacitor here, it would be ambiguous. Then I would have to find another way to place the designator. Um, so um, one by one, I uh, clean up the mess uh, and make sure that all the designators are visible. And uh, after that, the board is ready for manufacture. Thank you for watching.